All right, so here's my uh, second example for solving uh, a differential equations with uh, using undetermined coefficients. So if we if we have a uh, differential equation, okay, here it is. It equals some function f of x. So for the method of un undetermined coefficients, we're going to guess at a solution y of p, and it's going to be in uh, the form of f of x is it's just based on what it is. So if if f of x is one or any constant, we're going to choose this y of p to be a. If f of x is five x plus seven, we'll choose it to be a x plus b, and so on. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but I put a list here. Uh, this is some of them. It's it's not all of them. Uh, you can check in your differential equations textbook and I'm sure they'll have more of a list than what I have here. I just chose a few of them to put down. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on our second example. We have y double prime minus 2y prime equals x plus 2e to the x. Alright, so to get started, the first thing we have to do is find a solution y sub c. We have to take this differential equation and set it equal to zero. So I've got y double prime minus 2y prime equals zero. So you remember how to solve this, you, uh, your characteristic equation. Alright, so that's going to be m squared minus 2m equals zero. Factor out the m. And so we get m equals 0 or m equals 2. All right, so, and hopefully you remember how to, what your solution would be. Uh, so remember, if you have a differential equation set equal to 0, it's going to fall into one of these three cases. Well, in ours, we have two distinct real roots, m1 and m2. They're not equal to each other. So the general solution would be y equals c1 e to the m1x. m1 is our is one of our solutions that we got. You know, our, we got 0 and 2 as a solution. So m1 could be 0 or 2, it doesn't matter. Plus c2 e to the m2x. So m2 would be your other solution. All right, so it, our y sub c has a solution in this form. So we'll plug the 0 in and the 2 in here. Alright, so that means yc equals c1 e to the 0 times x plus c2 e to the 2x. Alright, and so this is just, well, e to the 0 is 1, so that's just c1 plus c2 e to the 2x. Okay, so there's our y sub c. Now we're going to guess at y sub p. Okay, we're going to make our we're going to make our guess. y sub p is equal to well, let's see what we've got. We've got x plus 2e to the x. Okay, so we have x plus 2e to the x. That's what we have to match. All right, well, you can see we don't, we don't have that anywhere in here. But, well, this x here, well, that's just a linear function. So we have this. So for x, we're going to guess ax plus b, and then we have plus the 2e to the x. All right, well, the 2e to the x, that is going to look, see this one? It's going to look like this. So we're going to have the ax plus b plus, and since we're using a and b here, we'll just use a c here, c e to the, and in our case, instead of 5x, see that's a 5, we've got 1x, so that would be e to the x is what we're going to use. All right, so let's come over here and write that down. All right, so I've got y of p is going to be 
AX plus B plus C E to the X. Alright. Alright, so this is what I guess for YP. Alright, so now let let's let's look at this. Notice this solution, I guessed. Okay. That is for this X here. Now if you notice in my solution Y sub C, I already have a constant term. See like this one. So what I have to do is I need to multiply this AX and B times X so I don't have a solution similar to this one. Okay. So that's going to give me YP equals, now I'm going to multiply this one times X because of the constant term here and the constant term here. So that's going to be AX squared plus BX plus CE to the X. Okay. So I'm not going to I'm not going to multiply this one times x. I know it's similar to this one, but this is e to the x. This is e to the 2x. Okay, So this one's fine. It's just the constant terms here. All right. So now let's go ahead and take the derivative. So y prime of p equals 2ax plus b plus c e to the x. And then y double prime sub p is going to be 2a and then derivative of b is just 0 and then plus the derivative of this which is c e to the x. Alright, so now my y of p, y prime of p, y double prime of p, I'm going to have to take that and substitute it into my original equation. y double prime minus 2y prime equals x plus 2e to the x. Alright, so let's substitute this in. So we're going to get y double prime, which is this, so that's going to be 2a, see if I can make that a little better, so that's 2a plus c e to the x minus 2 times y prime and here's y prime 2ax plus b plus c e to the x equals x plus 2e to the x and I'm going to take this 2 and I'm going to distribute so that's going to give me 2a plus c e to the x minus 4ax plus, no, I'm sorry, minus 2b minus 2c e to the x equals x plus 2e to the x. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, uh, my like terms together. Uh, let's see, basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this term and this term together. And so that's going to be 2a minus 2b. This would be considered my constant term. Alright. And then I've got minus 4ax. So that takes care of this, this, and this. And now I have like terms here. So c e to the x minus 2 c e to the x would just be minus c e to the x and that equals x plus 2 e to the x. Alright, so now you can see, you see this term here, my x, and you see this x term. So there's x, there's x, that's a 1, so negative 4a has to equal 1. So minus 4a would equal 1. And then I have this term. Okay, see, there's my e to the x and e to the x. 
So negative c would need to equal 2 would need to equal 2 and then my constant term well I don't have a constant term over here so that means 2a minus 2b would equal 0 and so after solving this you should know how to solve this so that would be a equals negative 1 fourth c equals negative 2 and here we would get b equals negative 1 fourth all right, so if you remember, remember our y sub c, our solution there, y sub c, that would equal c1 plus c2 e to the 2x, and y sub p, we chose that to be ax squared plus bx plus c e to the x. And so that means y sub p, well a is negative one fourth, so that's going to be negative one fourth x squared minus, and then that's going to be one fourth x, and then c is negative two, so minus two e to the x. Okay. All right, and so y is equal to y sub c plus y sub p. And so that's going to be c1 plus c2 e to the 2x uh, plus y sub p, which would be minus 1 fourth x squared minus 1 fourth x minus 2 e to the x. And this would be our solution. Alright, so I hope this video has helped. Uh, if you like it, you can check out my other videos and subscribe. Alright, thanks.